What is up guys, today I'm bringing you a review of the KK Moon mechanical keyboard from China. Um, I paid $60 ship for this and for the price, first impressions, the keyboard is very very beautiful and it feels really nice. Um, the keys themselves are kale blue switches so they're basically Chinese Cherry MX Blues. They're comparable to the Razer Black Widow 2013 edition. So if you have a keyboard um, to, uh, 2013 or newer, you pretty much know how these keys feel. Um, the keycaps themselves feel pretty nice. Um, you need you don't need to use much force on them. They feel pretty good in the fingers, and I've used them for about two days now. And I can honestly say that they're much better than my old Dell mechanical keyboard and my Razer Death Adder, the 2013 and the 12 that I had. So first things first, I just want to show you guys what it came in. So basically, um, it came in one of those generic uh, plastic bags that you usually get your Chinese stuff in. I I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. But inside of that came this box. Um, just a lot of Chinese lettering. It says to manufacture the best mouse and keyboard. Um, has this like little official sticker thing on it. More stickers. Uh, more Chinese lettering. And the word keyboard in English on the other side of the box. There is um, just numbers and addresses from the company it looks like. Some English. But everything's for China, so I mean, it really won't do us any good. So, what else came in the box was this manual, which is actually very, very handy because I'm going to show you what it helps you do um, in a little bit. But first, we're going to take a look at the keyboard itself, um, the function keys, as you can see right there. Uh, your basic stuff, web browser, search, calculator, um, what is that, I can't see through the camera, media player, your forward and back buttons, stop, play, um, volume buttons, and everything else like that. Obviously you have your scroll lock, LEDs and stuff like that. Um, the font on here is pretty interesting. Um, Obviously, it's English, uh, the QWERTY English keyboard layout, which is nice. And as you can see right there, I don't know if you can see that. I can't move this keyboard because it's plugged in. I can't pull it too close because the wire is already stretched out enough. But as you can see right there, there's L1, L2, L3, and stuff like that. And I'm going to show you that in a second, like I said. Um, up here is the KK Moon logo, which you can see on their other keyboards. Um, the, um, surface of the keyboard is like a brush aluminum. I'm not sure if it's really brushed aluminum for $60. It could be, but it feels really, really good. Um, I got the, I think it was the gold. I think this is just considered gold. And back here, um, obviously you get your feet. You get these, like, indent logo. Um, some rubber feet right there and it's just a plastic white back which honestly complements the keyboard really good um, what else what else all right so let's get into the most the more interesting stuff here oops I dropped the camera all right let's see here oh, we gotta fix it up okay all right, we're gonna try to do it like this. All right, so as you can see, the lights are moving. The keyboard looks really cool like this. Um, just it basically does like a snake pattern around the O. It starts here and then it goes around like the snake game. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. Um, but there's different modes. So like I said over here in the manual thing, this basically just tells you all that it does. But I'm just gonna show you because I pretty much know everything about it now. Um, so we're gonna go through all the lighting modes. So the first one is this, which basically gives you the arrow keys down here, 
and WSD up here and escape. Lighting 2 gives you some more keys. Um, lighting 3 gives you less keys. Uh, different keys, just different keys. This obviously gives you more keys. Um, that gives you like a different pattern right there. Light 5. Let's see what light 6 does. Light 6 gives you WASD, R, Shift, Control, Alt, and the arrow keys. Light 7 gives you more buttons right there. Um, light 8 gives you those buttons. Uh, LR1 turns everything off if I'm correct. Um, yeah, this is basically reset. These two reset. So, how do you get the default lighting back? There's another thing here which you can put, which is, I don't know, it just says M. I'm guessing it's maybe mode. I'm not sure, but over here, the M button, you get more lighting options, a lot more light, uh, lighting options, and these move. So as you can see right here, um, this one does the whole keyboard. Um, it runs at a pretty fast pace, which is pretty cool. So you have that. Then you can go here, which does it in a different pattern. That goes from like control up, so basically from control to pause, the light moves. And then you can do it again, which then that gives you sort of another snake pattern, but that doesn't start at the O. It stops at the O, but it doesn't start at the O, I'm, I think. I might be wrong. Oh no, I'm wrong, actually. That was the default lighting mode that it comes with. So I was wrong. This is the last one, which is basically um, like a chrome eraser keyboard that everything just lights up like that. And it looks really nice. Um, here's another one obviously just moves really fast across the keyboard when you press a button so each time you press a button it has this really cool rainbow effect throughout the keyboard and it looks sick so I really like that one but it, <laughs> it looks like it can give you a seizure from how bright it is but who cares and obviously here you go this is like your default Razer Chroma one where you just have your buttons and they look nice and nothing happens it's just an LED backlit keyboard which looks nice too if you like all these colors um, personally my favorite is this one the one where each button that you press lights up um, I'm a touch typist so I really don't need to look at the keys but I really like how that just um, how that just looks when you press the button but my second favorite is um, not this one I, I forget there's so many modes that I forget but this one obviously as you can see it just blinks it's just a pulsating mode which looks pretty cool I like it um, obviously this one is similar to lighting one but as you can see I don't know if you can tell but they're pulsating which wasn't what they were doing over there and I think we're back to number one yeah, we're definitely back to to um to the beginning because that one's the seizure one. But we're gonna keep that. Actually, we're gonna keep that one right now. It looks pretty cool for now. So <clears throat> actually we're gonna go back to the default mode because that one's the best one to check this out. Oops, where is it? I think it's this one. I think it's this one. I could be wrong. I thought I knew them, but I guess I'm wrong. Hmm. Pretty sure that's not it. Um. This one. This one. Okay. This one will do the trick. So as you can see right here, the speed is pretty. It's pretty decent. It's not the fastest, which I'm gonna show you. Um. So you get a function, and with the back arrow and the front arrow, you can change the speed of the lighting. So we're gonna make it faster because I'm pretty sure I put it on the slowest. And as you can see right there, um it's on crack now which is hilarious but as you can see right there um, that's what happens when you turn up the speed of the light so <clears throat> that's uh, pretty much it when it comes to lighting um, there's a lot of lighting options to play around with I don't even know if I have all of them now um, but I'm gonna play around with this on myself 
later on, but that's just basically the basics. Alright, so I just basically wanted to end this video with a typing test, or a key sound test, I don't know, whatever you'd call it. So I'm just going to do that real quick. I have this typing test thing up on the screen, and we're just going to place the camera down, and we're going to go. I think that's good enough. Alright, let's do this. Alright, so the test is over. I got 89 words per minute and I messed up a lot so I brought it down. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys what it sounds like, what it looks like. And hopefully you guys um, enjoy this review. I'm going to leave the link down in the description from the seller that I bought it. Um, do I recommend this keyboard? I do recommend it, this keyboard. I do recommend this keyboard, sorry. Um, it's way better than a Razer Death Adder, or, oh my god, it's better than a Razer Black Widow Ultimate for sure, I can already say that. Um, it's a little loud, it's a blue kale switch, so, um, expect it to be loud, but if you can have, you know, a loud keyboard, if friends or stuff when you're talking, playing games, don't get bothered by a loud keyboard. This is a very good keyboard, um, I do a lot of typing, I do a lot, because I, I write a lot. And I don't know, it just feels great when I was writing earlier a few uh, narrative pages. But if you have any more questions, um, I'll gladly answer them. Just leave them in the description and I'll see you in the next one, guys.